chicken tortilla soup, chicken tortilla soup. It's like a maraca. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Chicken tortilla soup. Shake your chili. Subscríbanse, por favor. It's gonna get smoky in here. Oh no, I lost the chili. What's your favorite soup on a cold day? Hmm. Cause it's a tortilla soup. Here we go. Hey guys, Busy Mommy here. And today I'm here to bring you a chicken not tortilla soup. So obviously I can't do the tortillas like I normally would for this type of soup because keto life. So I am bringing you one of my favorite recipes because I use this as a great meal prep. So you can make this, you can freeze it and then take it out when you want it in individual portions. It's awesome, especially on a cold day like today here in Illinois, it's pretty chilly today. So it's kind of nice to have a really good soup. Obviously I'm using my Instapot because, or Instant Pot. How many of you call it Instapot? I wonder, I, where did that come from? I swear I heard it somewhere, but it's instant pot, not insta pot. But for some reason, that's what everybody calls it. But anyway, my insta pot in, I did it again, my instant pot. So I had frozen chicken thighs. And one thing that I'm super excited about the instant pot is that I don't have to defrost everything for it to actually cook, which is fantastic for a busy mommy lifestyle. I'll tell you that right now. So. First thing you're gonna do, I have a little over one and a half pounds of chicken thighs, and I it's frozen, as you can see, in a frozen solid mass. I put it on my rack into my instant pot. I'm going to add one cup of water, and I'm going to seal it up, and I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna turn it so I can see I'm going to do pressure cook and I'm going to do 30 minutes and that's going to give me enough time to start everything else. So as you guys know, with the instant pot, make sure that it is sealed and then make sure that everything is uh, ready to go and you can set it aside somewhere else. It's prepping. It's getting ready and I'm going to set it aside so that it can finish cooking that chicken while I get everything else ready. So I'm going to move this out of the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep some chilies. So I have three chile anchos, or all four, but they're kind of small. Um, two chile guajillos, and then I have about 10 chile de arbol. So these are the spicy ones. You don't have to really add all these chilies. Actually, traditional um, chicken tortilla soup calls for like pasilla chilies. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna de-seed all of these and take all the seeds out of the chilies. I love the smoky flavor that chile ancho gives. Now chile ancho is just, as I've said in some of my videos before, it's actually just a poblano peppers, which I don't know if you've ever had chile relleno, but if you've ever had chile relleno, it's that pepper, but it's dried. And so when it's dried, it turns red like this and gets all squishy. Now you can find these peppers a lot of times in like the Hispanic aisle in your grocery store. If not, you can definitely find it in any Latin grocery store you might have nearby and they're pretty much everywhere you should be able to find. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and de-seed all of your peppers, except for the chile de arbol, which means tree, by the way. The more you know. Um, so the chile de arbol is gonna not be de-seeded because I like the spiciness that it brings but I'm gonna de-seed these. And then once they're all de-seeded, we're gonna toast them up in a pan. So now that you have that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tops off of these tomatoes. We're gonna do four tomatoes. Normally you would do probably eight, but I'm gonna do four because obviously the, the more tomatoes we do, the higher the carb. So you don't really wanna do that. Um, I'm not really gonna prep this part yet because the zucchini is gonna come last but I'm just cutting off the stems. We do need the onion, however, so I'm gonna do half an onion and we're gonna peel it and get it ready. All right, so now that I have everything cut up, I'm actually gonna cut this like that. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way and get my pan started, like medium high heat. 
and we're gonna get some oil on the pan to toast these up. So you're gonna put about a tablespoon of oil in your pan. I mean, it depends on how big the pan is. This one's bigger, so it kind of needs a little bit more. Okay, so now that my pan is heating up, while we wait to put these chilies in here, I'm gonna ask you guys to like, subscribe, and comment below, please. We definitely would love to have you continue to follow us. We're gonna continue to be making recipes that have to do with um, all sorts of different cultures, but definitely ketified as I'm on this 90 day journey. All right, so my oil is hot. Now we're gonna start toasting our chilies. Now these should take not very long at all, maybe three minutes, if that, but keep tossing and turning. Okay, so since those are halfway done, I'm gonna start adding the chile de arbol. It's gonna get smoky in here. It's getting smoky in here. Oh no, I lost the chili. I got it. Okay, so that was it. It was probably about two and a half minutes or so. You really don't wanna go too long just because they'll get bitter if you cook them too long. All right, so we're gonna toast up these tomatoes a little bit. And the onion. Just want them to get a little brown. You kind of want a little bit of a char on them. See, that is what we're looking for. So we're gonna turn it on its side. Let them get charred a little bit on the sides. We're gonna get our blender ready while that is cooking. Okay, so this is what you're kind of looking for. See that beautiful color? Just gonna flip it and get a little bit of that color on as many sides as we can. Oh, it smells so good already. Now, normally I would toast up about three garlic cloves. I'm out of garlic cloves, so because we're almost at the end of these toasting up, I'm going to grab my minced garlic and I'm gonna throw that in here. Okay, so no one wants burnt garlic. So you're gonna throw in, I'm gonna do two spoonfuls, I like a lot of garlic, of minced garlic. And I'm gonna let it just sit in the oil a little bit while I grab everything else and put it into my blender. This tomato, and then the onion. Yum, 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 yum. Use this tomato to scoop all of the garlic. Okay, at this point I can just boop, go like this. Okay, I'm gonna add these chilies first. The chile pasilla. And then, so I'm only gonna add about five of the chilies that we cut up, the chili de arbol, because I like to garnish my soup with that one because it's so good. So to this, I'm gonna add, because I'm not doing chicken stock in the soup, I'm gonna add bouillon. So this is actually um, like one cube of bouillon, but it's like the Goya version. I'm gonna add one of these. And because I'm not adding a lot of tomatoes and this is a red, you know, soup, like a tomato soup. I actually have um, caldo de tomate, which is bouillon made by Noor, which is a great, like this is what I use for my bouillon, but it's like a tomato based one. So it gives you more tomato based rich flavor without having to add all the carbs of tomatoes. We're gonna do one, two, three teaspoons or one tablespoon of this tomato based one and then one cube of the other one. I'm gonna add one cup of water to this. Blend it up and see if it needs more water as we go. Okay, so I added one cup of water to this. I'm gonna start the puree process and get this all blended up. Okay, so you're gonna run puree or like run it for probably about three minutes because you want it super duper blended. So you wanna make sure you don't see any pieces. So I'm gonna continue to blend. Okay. 
Okay, so I've blended it for about three minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of water. If I can not spill it everywhere. Yum! Two cups of water, and now I'm gonna blend again for another minute. What's your favorite soup on a cold day? Hmm. Okay, so we got that blended. Move it aside. All right, so now that you've got it all blended up, you're going to go ahead and get a pan again. This one's very deep, so I can use it for this. You're gonna add a little bit of oil to your pan, and then we're gonna saute this sauce in the pan for a few minutes. Oh, it smells so good. And you're gonna let this come to a boil. Then we're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes just to get a little bit more depth of flavor. So one thing I think I am gonna do though, because I wanna clean out this container because my grandma would be really upset if she thought that I wasted some of this goodness. I'm gonna add half a packet, which is like half a bouillon cube. And I'm gonna throw about half a cup of water in here and I'm gonna blend it to get all that liquid. Yep. So we're gonna add about, it was about three quarter cup of water. And you just gotta shake it up. See? You're doing two things at once. You're cleaning your pan, getting chili all over yourself. It's fine because it tastes good. All right, so now this is all good. I'm gonna put it in the sink. I'm gonna let this simmer like I said, and then we'll be back to add the chicken and get everything going. I'm gonna let it simmer while I cut up the vegetables. Typically, you can put whatever vegetables you want. I have been trying to obviously get more zucchini in my diet. We're trying to get like the lower carb veggies. So I am just gonna dice this up and I'm gonna throw it in with the soup because the more veggies you got, the better and the more filling it'll be. So also the zucchini will help thicken it up a little bit. All right, now that my zucchini is all diced up, I'm gonna get my chicken from the Instant Pot, and then we're gonna get going, shredding that up, getting it ready, putting our soup together. All right, so we're back. We have been cooking our chicken for 30 minutes. I let it sit for 16 minutes to kind of depressurize on its own a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and take the chicken thighs out. Let me just set them on top of the zucchini. Everything is cooked. It's like fall apart take all the liquid out because we got some chicken broth actually because it was cooking so I'm gonna take all the liquid out and then we're gonna set this to saute we're gonna saute the chicken with a little salt and pepper to give it a little more flavor okay so we've taken it all out set that aside we're going to go ahead and put this on saute I'm just gonna leave it on 30 minutes, but I'll turn it off when I need to. I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and put a little oil in our Instapot. Now I'm going to shred this chicken, but it's hot. So I don't wanna do that with my hands like I normally would. So we're just gonna chop it up. Now, if you have like adobo, that's what I would use here to add the flavor. Um, versus just salt. I like myself some adobo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that. All right, it sounds ready. Start adding the chicken. Now that all your chicken is in there, I'm gonna go get some seasoning. I'm gonna put a little seasoning on this. Then we're gonna stir it up and then we're gonna add all that soup. Okay, so we're gonna add just like a little bit of adobo to the soup, so maybe like a teaspoon. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Not too worried about it getting stuck because the soup's gonna make it loosen up at the bottom. Just trying to get a little color on the chicken. Good flavor. 
gonna throw in some of this chicken stock. And then, okay, do a little bit at a time and then I'll pour the rest in. So I went ahead and added two bay leaves to this to give it a little more uh, flavor. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest in. All right, I'm gonna give that a little stir. Oh, looks so good. All right, so now we're gonna let this come to a boil. I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is add the zucchini and then turn it on soup and eat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the zucchini. This is just two zucchinis. You don't have to do this much. You can do one, but this is gonna make like six servings, so wanted some green veggies in here. All right, so we're gonna stir her up. Oh, the chicken's like super shredded, it's so good. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it off, covered it up, put it on closed, and I'm going to do soup. I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes. So we're gonna let it become soup for 20 minutes. All right, so the soup was in for about 15 minutes and then I let it depressurize for like another 20 minutes. And so now we're gonna take it off, put the lid down over here. It smells delicious. Oh, so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself some in a bowl. Oh, it just looks so good. To go with the soup, I remember I said leave some chile de arbol out. Some of these little chilies. They add a little, obviously some spice and some crunch. So good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese to it. Cause that's what I want. And then I have a low carb tortilla that I crisped up with some olive oil. And you don't have to add this if you don't want to, the soup is good by itself. But I kind of wanted some tortilla strips. So this whole tortilla is four net carbs. So I'm not gonna use all of it, but I'm gonna throw some in my soup because it's a tortilla soup. Then I'm gonna do a, a dollop of my Suprema, Supremo Crema, because it's delicious. A Little bit of salt. Now we're gonna taste. Get some of the tortilla and the sour cream. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's hot, because it just got made. But it's spicy. We have the spicy smokiness from the peppers. We got the zucchini. Mm. So good. Again, this would freeze really well. And um, I hope you try it. Before you go though. Oh, so good. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. Have you tried it? Do you like chicken tortilla soup? What else would you like to see me try? I'm thinking maybe a chicken no noodle soup <laughs> for these winter months. But as always, I thank you for joining me. And let me know if you wanna see more videos like these. Keep coming back, like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, peace, love, and keto. Yum. Oh, I can't wait to eat this whole bowl. I decided long.
long ago never to walk in anyone's shadows if i fail if i succeed at least i live as i believe oh it's not so good <laughs>